Hello, it's Lee from Lee Brogan DIY Home Maintenance. This week I've been doing a kitchen. Now, I put on here in the kitchen nightmare. It was a nightmare because I made an idiot mistake, and that's something I'll cover later. It's really important for all DIYers and guys to think about. So anyway, back to what we were doing. Kitchen rip out. Um, this was a friend of mine, so I gave them an estimate, got it as close as I could, and this is defending the trades a little bit, because until you get the old kitchen out, you don't know what's going to come up and bite you. Like there, we had to renew the windowsill, made that all good. Um, all the plumbing down the bottom there, you see, they only moved their kitchen around a couple of feet, but of course, that means all the plumbing's got to be moved. Uh, oven, I just pop back in situ, you'll see that later on in the video. Um, all needed painting, but the customer wants to do that themselves. Uh, more pipe work there needed adjusting, the sockets needed adjusting, the walls needed plastering, another windowsill needed doing. Now, I didn't do the plastering, and I didn't do the motoring in of the second workshop you'll see in a minute. But that, that's basically, that's defending the guys to say, look, they can only guess when they're going in. You don't know what you're going to hit. So we hit all the uh, little pitfalls, we got over them, replaced the windowsill there, tiled our splashbacks all the way around and obviously beyond the cooker, full height splashback beyond the cooker. We put a new windowsill in there, um, again, tidied it all up, customers were really pleased with that. The boiler was built into a cupboard, so that all had to be cut. Uh, and the flooring is going to be done at another time. So on a budget, obviously you can't, uh, and it is a working kitchen, so they needed to get back in their kitchen, have a couple of months of sanity before going through sort of the whole thing all over again. And when we put the units in, we raised them another 20 mil just to take into account the flooring that was gonna go in later. Now to cover the um, nightmare bit I will tell you about earlier. Um, sometimes it's good to work late and get the job done. Sometimes it's just not. Now this is just to show people, it's a bit grim, but, this is when you should stop. I had already bashed my thumb with a hammer. I should have known at that point, you're getting tired, so stop. But instead I kept going, pushing it out, pushing it out. Um, and from a bashed thumb, the next thing I did, nearly cut my thumb off. So uh, just do yourselves a favor. The minute you're getting tired, the minute you make a bad cut, the minute you do something daft, just stop, put your tools down, say I need a break. Otherwise the injury could be a lot worse, um, or you could damage materials on property. And you don't want to do that, because you don't want to be replacing it. Anyway, that's my uh, little tip of the day. Just remember, sometimes it's more productive to have a break. Anyway, take care, thanks for watching.